We're out a little early this morning, Saturday, and we're taking out garbage. Sorry, you guys have to see that. <laughs> anyway, um, we have this big fire out here. <clears throat> I can smell it. So we're going to do a quick walk and then get back in. I don't know how to smell that. I'm going to breathe in. Breathe in all that um, fire smoke. So there's a, can you guys see that? But there's a poster here. He was talking about the fire. You know, the air quality. Hey guys, again. Um, I um, <clears throat> thought I'd get out and walk today. It's Saturday. It is about 15 minutes after 7. And I'm walking early because I got a grocery delivery coming. But that's not until 9. So, let's go. about um, whether or not it's 30 minutes. Just get the walk going. Do I have my run keep? I mean, my, oops. I'm going to start over. So... <clears throat> Um, it's super, super smoky out here. Um, there's a fire <clears throat> in Silmar. And, um, well, we're very close to Silmar. And naturally, the wind is blowing. And sorry about that sun. So the wind is blowing. It's not a heavy wind, but it is enough to, um, it is enough to, um, you know, carry fire. And, you know, fire doesn't need a lot. Um, it's pretty strong out here. So we didn't walk yesterday. <clears throat> I didn't walk yesterday, and um, it's probably a good, a good thing that I didn't, because it may have been a lot stronger yesterday than it is today. So I didn't find out about this fire until uh, Brittany told me. <laughs> And she doesn't even live out here. But, uh, yeah, I got up yesterday morning 
and um, I um, I don't know. I wasn't feeling. I felt mm, mm, weird. Remember earlier this week <clears throat> when we walked? Um, I didn't. Uh, you know, I got sick. Well, I felt sick, and so you know, I um, came on back home and sat down. The next day, I didn't feel too bad. And so I walked and then Friday, yesterday, I don't know, I didn't, um, I guess I just didn't want to walk. I didn't feel like walking or, but I got up, I put all my, uh, um, what do you call it? All my gear on and, uh. You know, I was watching um, <clears throat> Leave It to Beaver. I don't know. I just kind of felt like uh, I, I sat there for about an hour. After, after my hour was up, I went ahead and decided I was going to not walk. So that kind of helped. Um helped me make my decision. Well, not leave it to Beaver, but, um, you know, just the fact that, oh, please help find Beast, orange eyes and gray fur. There's a lost kitty. So, um, so yeah, um, I ended up, um, well, I, let me tell you this. <laughs> I got on the scale this morning and now it is 200.4 pounds. So we're not in the zone yet. I know I, know I had said um, last week, it was last week or this week, that I said, hey, my body's in the zone. I'm losing weight every day. But, um, you know, it's kind of like uh, when you go to start your car and, you know, you get that, doo -doo 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 -doo, you get that first, and then the car turns over, boom, you know, and starts up. <clears throat> and I think, <clears throat> pardon me, I think that uh, for me, as far as you know, getting my um, my weight loss to kick in, as far as less calories, um, more exercise, um, and then the motor starts to kick in and go, and then that's where I start losing weight every day. Um, but. Um, <laughs> because I missed two days this week. Um, I might have to get, uh, I don't know, maybe two or, look at this hole in the way, two or three weeks solid, you know, consistent every single day. And I think it'll happen. I don't know if you guys can um, see these big haze that's just, it's just all over the, everywhere. <laughs> can we clean off my lens on my camera? Sorry. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, uh, that you guys can see this haze, but it's too bad YouTube doesn't have um, smell-o-vision where you guys can smell, you know, what's what I smell because it's really, uh, it's really strong. Mm. Yeah, it's very 
very strong. So, um, I don't know if if you guys uh, decided to go ahead and get Netflix, but um, the next the next program that I started watching, sorry, this thing is coming out my ear. The next, uh, the next program I want to suggest to you guys is Black Mirror. Now, Black Mirror is, uh, it's, uh, it's like a series. I guess you could call it a series. And in the series, there are all these little episodes. In the episodes are stories. So within the series are stories. And it's a trip because it reminds me of uh, something you might see in the Twilight Zone. Some of the programs are very deep. Um, there's this one um, I'm not gonna tell you too much about it, but it starts off with this woman. You know, she wakes up in her place, I guess it's her place, and um, <clears throat> and um, she doesn't know who she is or where she is or what's going on. And, um, you know, she steps outside her door to see what's going on outside if she can get some help or something and uh, you know people all around her are filming her with their cell phones and um, no, you know no one's be, be responding to her they're ignoring her she's like can you help me do you know who I am you know and uh And, uh, like I said, the people are all ignoring her and, you know, just filming her. And, uh, we find out later on, you know, what the real story is. But, uh, that's one you should watch. Uh, it's, it's Black Mirror, the series, and then, uh, the name of that particular one is, um... Darn it. I can't think of the name of it. Oh, shucks. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> when I get home and I'm editing this video, uh, you know, I will, I will tell you, I will put the name of that particular episode right here. So check that one out. And remember, it's on Netflix. Um, another one is, um, I think it's something about the history of yourself, something like that. And um, in that one, uh, there's you know, come in with this guy having his uh, employment appraisal or you know his annual appraisal. <laughs> and, um, you know, the conversation goes kind of weird between him and three members of management, I guess. And um, so he leaves there and, uh, you know, heads on home. But we begin to see uh, little things that he's able to do with his... Uh, I don't know if it's thoughts or memories. So basically, his mental history. Pardon me. And, um, you know, he, like he goes to, um, I don't know, maybe some kind of uh, uh, transportation uh, place where, you know, say like a, I don't know, a trolley or a, train station or some kind of station and so he 
you know, he gets in there and, and so he walks through like a metal detector or whatever. And uh, the cop or the guard who's there says to him, you know, let me see your last 24 hours. And so he uses this little metal thing to uh, flip through and show what's been on his mind for the last 24 hours. And he gets cleared and he can go through. But they, they I think they did that to, to show us what he was working with. So, um, uh, I don't have to put the name of that one, uh, I guess here, because I don't remember, it's the history of something, the history of yourself, something weird like that, anyway, so, I'm going to stop right here. I'm walking a little bit fast to be breathing all this stuff in. Ooh, two people running. Pardon me. So, um, um, another one that I watched, which I thought was pretty good, was um, this one's not. Uh, it's not a, uh, it's not a series. This one's a movie, and it's called um, "For the Love of Money." And this is just a regular full-length movie, and um, that's good because um, in this movie, there's a woman who thinks that her, you know, high school friend or junior high school friend is about to become a millionaire, a billionaire, 20 millionaire. <laughs> anyway, um, so her and another friend decide that they're going to, um, you know, kind of, I don't know how to say it. Marry him for his money, basically. So she she goes through a lot. Um, well, he puts her through a lot once he finds out what she's up to. And, um, you know, we find out later that her family's kind of warped, too. So, you know, he, he can better understand her. Uh, just based on the way her family behaves. And so, um, you know, now he's, he still likes her, uh, loves her really much, but he, he starts to feel sorry for her. Hi, Doug. I know. <laughs> That's Doug and and uh, what is that dog's thing? Barbie. Yeah. We got a dog named Barbie. And that's an interesting story. Um, he, uh, he told a story on the bus one day that um, he said he was just, you know, what, the, what we call here in California, we call it dumpster diving. And dumpster diving is when you go from trash dumpster to trash dumpster looking for recyclables or anything of value. Uh, so that's dumpster diving. And so, you know, Doug said he was dumpster diving and he found a dog. Barbie was in the trash. And uh, he said he took her out the trash and took her home with him. And uh, interestingly enough, you know, here this is, well, this is, I heard him tell that story 
uh, when I first moved here. And so he's has a he's had Barbie now for well at least four years. So that's good. Anyway, <laughs> just thought I'd share that with you. He loves that dog. But he's never got her on the leash. And he just lets her kind of walk all over the first and second floor without a leash. And of course, he's around somewhere. But, you know, he lets her go to the bathroom. He doesn't clean up after her. Uh, well, and I'm not blaming the dog. If you got to go, you got to go. But as a parent of that dog... I think that I think that he should be a little bit more responsible or considerate of others and you know clean up after her. She can't do it for herself. Anyway. Um so back to that movie. Uh it's called um For the Love of Money. And, um, it's so quiet out here. And, um, it's a good movie. It's another one to watch on Netflix. Uh, let's see. How many steps do we have? 2652. Oh, here's a better sign you guys can see. They're not supposed to post their stickers on our signs. But, all right. Please help find this. Can you guys see this? I guess y'all can tell. I feel like I want to walk some more. <laughs> mm. I mean... I'm not going to go all the way out and then back to, um, back inside. I'm not going to do that. Okay, it's not letting me. Oh, my run keeper stopped again. Doggone it. Let's see where it stopped. Okay, me. Then we have to go here. Saturday morning. Wait a minute. It stopped when I got out to lesson? Mm-mm. Girl, please. Anyway. I'll start another one. Darn it. All right. We're almost back now, so... So, um, I got a, Brittany's coming over today, so I've got to clean my place. I need a housekeeper. Not, not because I'm lazy, but because, you know, I'll start, um, say, cleaning the bathroom. And, you know, I don't know if I could ever be a housewife, you know, or where your responsibilities are to you know, clean up, sweep and mop, things like that. Because every time I bend over or lean down or, uh, I don't know, sweep, sweeping is the worst. I don't know what kind of exercise, I mean, what kind of muscles are being used when you sweep. But when I sweep, I get so out of breath and so tired. I'm like, whoa, what am I doing? And I don't have a big place. You guys know that. But every time I sweep my place. So now it's become a, a little bit of a challenge to me to the, to the point that I, um, I will uh, avoid 
sleeping because, because I know that it's going to require a strong effort. So that, um, I don't know, that, um, that's a problem because uh, associated with cleaning that's working out, now I'm not going to want to do it. But that's kind of why I said I needed a cleaning person. Um, there's a, a program here um, where you can, uh, I can, I can get uh, in in home worker or care provider. I don't need a care provider because I'm not, you know, I'm capable of doing things. It's just some things take a little bit more wind out of me, and you know, I don't want to be short of breath. You know, it's walking every day as opposed to. Uh, it's supposed to help with that. Exercise my heart so that I don't have to say what? Okay, you Just a little. All right, you guys, we are back. See, that didn't take long at all. And, you know, we got our 30 minutes in. We got uh, 3,000 steps. I think my goal is 4,000, um, which will probably happen before the end of the day. <laughs> it has to, because it's 742 now. That would mean I'd have to sit on my butt for the rest of the day. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's it for, uh, what do I say? What, uh, all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you for walking with me, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.